Hello! We moved to Austin and one of the things I was most excited about is all the different dog parks. There's literally more dog parks in my apartment complex than our entire last town. So I'll be sharing our favorite ones, of course with the help of our Whippets. This is Snoot, the big older brother, and this is Snelly, our silly little girl. <laughs> Alright, let's begin at the park that we go to the most frequently. It is a two minute walk from our front door and that's because it's in our apartment complex. It's a beautiful shaded area with tons of trees. Snoot's favorite parks are when there's a lot of interesting terrain like hills, trees, rocks, and he can kind of explore like he's in a forest. He roams far and wide, but you know, he always comes when he's called. Sometimes I don't know where he goes and he's like out of sight, so recall is really important. Snilly, on the other hand, I feel like doesn't really leave my side much. She'll like check on Snoot to see what he's getting into. But the main thing Snilly loves is playing fetch. Her one singular focus is on this ball. If I don't bring something to fetch with, she doesn't even know what to do with herself. She'll just like stand next to me. But then I'll throw sticks and she loves that too. The funny thing about this park is that because it's sloped, the ball will roll away from her and then she's literally just playing fetch by herself. And she'll just do that over and over until she's like shaking from panting so hard. Like I mentioned, there's two other parks in our complex that's just a couple more minutes walk away. They both also have lots of big rocks to jump onto, uh, different trees to scale, and different levels of elevation. They are all phenomenal. I can't believe we have three parks that are walking distance. The only downside is there is a huge pond between them that floods the parks during summer storms. So then we'll drive to our next park. It's actually just a baseball field that I found. There's lots of unofficial dog parks all over the city and they're usually taken care of by the neighborhood around it. And this one is in a really nice rich neighborhood that I hope to live in one day. It is fully fenced, which is not always the case with like random fields that you find. And that's just crucial because Snoot and Snilly too have very strong prey drive. They hear a bush rustle or a chip bag blow by and they are after it. They'll try to find any way out and once they're out, you know, they're gone. <laughs> the recall is good, but not that good. So I will only take them to fenced in parks. This park is one of my favorites because look at the grass. It's very difficult to find green grass at all in the dead of Texas summer. And you know if rich people like Elon Musk can make their hair grow, they can make grass grow. It's just squishy and comfy on their paw pads and at the speed they're going, it's nice to not have to worry about their paws bleeding from screeching to a stop on like pavement or even like tan bark and sharp sticks getting stuck in their paw because that just means less dog park for them. So this next park, even though it's all dirt, it's really cool because there is a massive patch of bamboo and trees right in the middle. It is super dense, great place to explore. Snoo loves to hide from me in there and I like to hide from Snelly. <laughs> oh, you got me. But they have a blast. You know, I'm not sure where they get this from, but they aren't super sociable. Huge introverts actually. So it's nice when parks have something to entertain them besides just being a place to meet other dogs. Snoo can play with other dogs, but it's very hit or miss. He might just suddenly start barking hey, like for hey. no reason. Plus he's such a weirdo lone wolf. There he is roaming around the outskirts again by himself. <laughs> Snelly's like, I'm ready to go. Since Texas is an oven in the summer, we had to find a park with a doggy pool. It's a 40 minute drive each way and they didn't even swim in it. Okay, Snoot did like one time. <laughs> he looks so funny doggy battling. Yeah, neither of them really swim swim. They probably spend more time drinking the water. But sometimes Snoot gets into his lifeguard zone and just like barks at the dogs that do swim in the water. <laughs> but he likes making sure that they can get out of the water or something. I don't really know but he won't get into the water. Like, nope. 
Either way, he's super into helping dogs out of the water, and all the splashing cools him down, especially since it's so hot. He loves it. So energized and excited to go there every time we've been. Here's another neighborhood park, but you get the gist. Snoot checks the fence line, Snowy plays fetch. So I wanted to talk about my experience in general at dog parks. I've actually had a lot of bad incidents where mostly Snoot gets nipped by another dog and then we have to go and get stitches. But we haven't had an injury from another dog for a couple years now. And I think one thing that's helped a lot is working on recall. So when dogs start barking or a fight breaks out, I can just grab his attention and keep it focused on me. Also, if another dog shows any sign of aggression towards mine, I'll just leave. But I really think they love the dog parks, getting to run around and explore without being on a leash. Plus, we've gotten to meet and play with so many other Whippets. In fact, a couple months ago, we went to two different Whippet meetups and they were incredible. So many different sizes and colors and also behaviors. Some were more shy like Snelly and some were super social like wrestling with each other. It was so fun to see all of them play together. Some of them look like clones of Snelly <laughs> and Snoot too. I personally think they could tell that these are whippets, you know, just like similar temperament. So sweet. This is actually the only non-free dog park in this video, which is pretty impressive. And that's just because they have like staff dog wranglers to break up any fights and pick up poop. But it was pretty chaotic. So many dogs in a small space and so much rock and dirt kick up from all the running. So the second meetup we did was at a school field. This is another place I found. One time I accidentally showed up while school was in session, <laughs> but lots of dogs come here. You know, there are so many dogs in Austin, they'll just take over any open field. But yeah, there's so much more space to run like full speed and you know, more cushion from the grass too. I love doing meetups. I just know my whippets will be safe around other whippets. Plus, it's so nice to chat with fellow owners, hear why they picked this breed, what theirs are like at parks or at home. Believe it or not, that is not Snilling. No Snoo, that is not her either. <laughs> there she is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as Snoo and Snilling did. Of course, going to parks is just a small part of their lives, so if you'd like to learn more, man, I've got so many videos, one all about Snoo, one of Snilling as a puppy, one where I show you every minute of their day, but thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.